Brett Wysinski is a defensive team leader for the Walsh University Cavaliers. So when the senior suffered a severe brain injury during an intra-squad scrimmage, it was a stunning blow. And when it first happened, it was definitely devastating. I, uh, I was pretty emotionally upset about it. You never know when your last play could possibly be. And that really kind of brought that to realization for us all. Brett was injured in a pileup during a tackle August 18th. Team videographer and friend Alex Piquel captured Brett wobbling and then collapsing. It was definitely a gut check about how something so serious can happen in just an instant. Coaches say it was touch and go for Brett for several days. Doctors removed part of his skull to reduce the brain swelling. But he continues to make remarkable progress this week. He walked yesterday for the first time since the injury. He's talking too. He's asking me how football's going, how school's going. You know, he's obviously very upset he can't play with us, but... He knows we're thinking about him at all times. Sitting up using a remote control uh, and for TV, uh, gave mom a kiss. The first thing he did was give mom a kiss and ask for his cell phone, so, uh, which is uh, awful good. He was eating pizza the other day, and he seems to be back to his normal self in the most part. I mean, I know it's a slow process. The team is now wearing Brett's number 12 on their helmets to show support during games. They won their first game without Brett and can't wait for him to return to the field. We're hoping for a full recovery. I mean, we're hoping for a speedy and full recovery. He's a fighter, and instead of fighting other opponents on a weekly basis, he's just going to be fighting to get better.